Hi, this is Sanjay Tate. Reset domain crossing refers to a path in a design where the source and destination elements operate on different independent resets. RDC sign-off tools and methodologies ensure that the signals crossing the reset domains function reliably, eliminating errors such as metastability, glitches, and loss of functional correlation. Reset domain crossing sign-off and clock domain crossing sign-off both use static analysis and have similar error types. However, the design principles for protection against RDC issues are very different from CDC. Four important ways in which they differ include number one, unlike CDC, RDC errors can occur even in the same clock domain. Two, RDC analysis and debug scope is global while CDC interfaces are localized. Three, RDC sign-off requires RDC-specific, structural, and functional design analysis. We can see in this example how structural analysis alone can show a false metastability error. In contrast, advanced RDC functional analysis of the combinational logic can recognize design protection, such as a blocking signal, proving the reset domain crossing path is actually safe. Without this advanced RDC functional analysis, the number of false errors reported goes up tremendously, increasing the effort to reach sign-off, as well as raising the risk of missing design bugs. Four, the mean time between failures for RDC is higher than CDC. This low and unpredictable error frequency can lead to false confidence and chip failures. Unless there is an RDC-specific, structural and functional sign-off tool and methodology in place. Thank you.